Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about something that I saw on YouTube this morning. And, um, I wasn't planning on making this video. My next video, I was planning on doing one with my animals, but whenever I saw this, I knew I would just have to say my opinion about it. Because if I didn't, then I wouldn't be being myself, um. Whenever I see these types of videos, I feel like I have to stand up for the animals that are being talked about. So, I'm not going to say her name because I don't like to start drama. I don't like to, um, that's just not who I am. But I do need to say my opinion about this. Um, so basically this girl, she does videos about horses. And I used to watch her, um not a lot but just like just rarely like if i saw one of her videos i would click on it and um i got to where whenever i was watching more than just a few of her videos i saw where she was basically judging people like on the way that they ride and stuff so it kind of made me just not want to watch her videos but this morning i saw where she posted that all pit bulls should be banned. Now, that is crazy to me because she's supposed to be this YouTuber that loves animals, but the way she was talking about them. Mm. And I love pit bulls. I love bulldogs. I love all kind of animals. I love all breeds of dogs. And um, she was just saying how she didn't want all pit bulls to be killed or euthanized but she didn't think that anyone needed to own them either okay so what did what did you want to do with them did you want to turn them out into the wild they're not wild animals they're pets i mean they cannot fend for themselves they depend on us to take care of them and um I bet she didn't know that pit bulls and bulldogs are more prone to getting heat strokes than any other kind of breed of dog. So, they can't fend for themselves. Um, it depends on how you raise them. Now, if you're getting a dog, this goes for any breed. If you get a dog and treat them badly, then yes, they are going to turn on you. But if you get a dog and you treat them right, they will be the best dog you've ever had. Now, we have an American Bulldog, and um, before we got her, she was trained in search and rescue, but um, this woman was wanting to get rid of her. Um, I don't know why, because she's the sweetest dog, but she was wanting to get rid of her. She's actually my sister's dog, but she's staying here with us right now, so we have Alex until um, my sister can get her back when she gets a house because she lives in an apartment right now and she can't have any kind of dog so we just have her right now and she is the sweetest dog and as long as we treat her right she'll treat us right i'll show y'all her come here alex but yeah this is her american bulldog she is so sweet and we can be sitting out on the front porch without a leash and she'll just sit out there with us. She listens and she minds and she's just so sweet and we love her. <laughs> and then me and my fiance, we have a pit bull um, and he is so sweet too. And he gets along with kids. He gets along with other dogs. And Alex gets along with kids. Um, and I mean, whenever people say um, no one should own pit bulls or bulldogs, they're dangerous. Does this look dangerous to you? I mean, every morning I walk out here and um, me and Alex just sit down and uh, we just <laughs> we just have cuddles and we have our little talks. But yeah, I mean, it all depends on how <coughs> she's wanting to play. She barks whenever she wants to play. But um, it all depends on how you raise 
um, your dogs, no matter what breed, um, bulldogs and pit bulls already have a bad, um, everyone says that they're such bad dogs, but whenever you raise them good, they're the sweetest dogs you'll ever have. So, um, yeah. I think the reason why she said all that was because she saw a video of a bulldog biting a horse on the leg and really it could be any type of dog that did that. It could be a German Shepherd, it could be a Mastiff, it could be anything. I mean, years ago, whenever I was a kid, we were planning on getting a Mastiff and um, my dad was going to get out of the car um, just to see if it was a good dog. and he got out of the car and that mastiff tried to attack him so needless to say we ended up not getting the dog but it i mean that goes to show it's any breed that if they're not raised right and it made me mad whenever i saw that video um because i love all breeds of dogs um even the ones that i've been bit by i still love that breed so yeah, I'm just tired of people saying that pit bulls are bad and, and they shouldn't be owned and all this. Okay, well, I don't care what anyone says. I will always have a pit bull. And, I mean, if you're scared of pit bulls, okay, don't own one. But that doesn't mean that everyone shouldn't own one. Okay? I mean, it's just crazy to me. So... Yeah, I mean, I can't really say enough about pit bulls and bulldogs, but I just thought I should speak my opinion about it because I cannot just sit there and watch someone talk bad about them and not say anything. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, in the next video, I can do a video with the chickens and then I'll do more videos with Alex and yeah that's gonna be it for this one so if you agree with me just leave a thumbs up subscribe and um, if you want to watch what I do with my animals and meet all my animals then just um, subscribe and I'll try to post a video every week um, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you agree with me, just leave a thumbs up. And yeah, but thank you for watching. And I will see y'all next time.